right. I mean, with the average price of a PCR test coming in at about 60 to 70 pounds at the moment, um, that is obviously going to add a huge amount. If you are planning on just popping away for a Christmas market weekend in Europe or something like that. And on top of that, we've got the added restrictions. Um, Switzerland has already said that British citizens have to quarantine on arrival for 10 days um, and other countries have closed their borders completely, the likes of Israel and Morocco. Um, so, I mean, it really does feel like we have gone very several steps back in terms of returning to normality in travel. The frustration for the, for the travel companies because it's their word confidence, isn't it? It was just coming back. It's yes. now gone. Well, that's right. I mean, this is the kind of thing that really can hugely dampen demand. Um, anything where people feel that they just don't know what's going to happen, whether or not they will be able to take their holiday, it does mean that, that instantly people sort of stop and pause and don't make any more bookings. And, and this is always the sort of leaner time of year for the travel industry. Yes, you've got Christmas. A lot of people would tend to travel over Christmas. Um, but it's not the time of the year where the travel industry makes the most of its money. And when it's only just starting to get going again after two years where they virtually were at a stand still. Um, it really couldn't have come at a worse time. Some travel firms seem to be reintroducing the sort of flexibility of moving your holiday or your flight rather than, you know, just letting people cancel it straight away, because I guess they want people to avoid doing that. Well, that's right. Yes. I mean, you are seeing flexible policies being put in place again. And the likes of EasyJet and TUI have both come out with those in the recent days. Um, and it's always best not to actually just physically cancel your own plans if you've already booked and paid for it. Because if the holiday still goes ahead, you'll find it very difficult to get your money back. Um, it's always best to wait and see. And, you know, if the airline or the tour operator has to cancel the trip for any reason, then you will get your money back, especially what? Well, only if I say, um, you know, with holidays, it's going to be at all protected package holidays. Um, but obviously, if an airline cancels a flight, you are then entitled to a refund as well. So never cancel yourself. Wait to see what happens. And we always have to remember this. It's not just about holidays. For some people, it's about reuniting families who haven't yeah. seen each other for, for months and months. Lisa, could, there's one thing I really want you to clear up, if that's possible. Lots of people were talking yesterday about their weekends away they're going on. And if you can't work from home... People are saying, when I come back to the UK, that PCR test that you're supposed to take, the day two PCR test, there was an assumption that you could just take that straight away at the airport because you've got to isolate until you get the result back. Is that right? Or do you need to do a full sort of 48 hours at home and then take the test? No, it's very definitely on or before day two. Um, now, I'm due to be flying out to the Bahamas um, on Wednesday and I'm flying back into the country on Sunday. Um, I have any plans in the office on Monday. So I'm now scrabbling around like everybody else, trying to find a PCR testing company, hopefully at the airport, that can return me um, a PCR result um, in hopefully less than 12 hours. Now, that's not easy to find at the moment. Um, I would say that to reduce the isolation to the absolute bare minimum, getting your test the minute you walk off the plane is going to be the best idea. The problem is, is that those testing companies might not yet be actually staffed up enough to have that kind of demand going through into those testing centres at airports. Up until now, people have preferred to take the tests at home because they tended to be cheaper. Um, but I think for the sake of probably £20, £30, pounds, I would rather make sure I've got the test over and done with at the airport, travel home and self-isolate until I actually then do get that negative result, hopefully. And of course, there's the damage now being done to the New Year plans because anybody hoping to go away in January is now thinking it's just not going to be worth the bother. Well, that's right. Um, and there's still a huge question about ski holidays because for a lot of people aiming to fly to um, the sort of French ski resorts, the French Alps, um, many of them will go through Geneva and they might actually be flying into Switzerland to do that. And as far as we can work out at the moment, that means that they are then subject to that 10 days of self-isolation, even though they're only transiting through the airport. Um, so there's still a huge amount to be actually decided in terms of where we are going to be, what's going to be happening. Um, we have, as you say, 10 countries on the red list now. Um, and for many people, that's causing a real issue. Um, I'm hearing about one person who's out in South Africa at the moment visiting friends and family for the first time in nearly two years. Um, he landed only to be told, of course, that he has to go into hotel quarantine, uh, but he can't even get back into hotel quarantine because hotel quarantine is booked up. He's been told he will have to wait until at least the 5th or the 6th to actually be able to get into hotel quarantine. There simply isn't any rooms at the moment. So with the speed of this and the speed of the way that this was introduced has meant that the industry is now having to really try to catch up as quickly as it can. Mm.